good morning students i will start today last equation first of all introduction about last equation this is second part of the electrochemistry and it relates electrode potential with the concentration of ions thus the reduction potential increases with increase in the concentration of ions for a general electrochemical reaction of the type a plus b gives to c plus d a plus b gives to c plus d if uh, this small letters are represented here in stoichiometric coefficient whereas a b are reactant in the form of reactant and c and d in the form of product then what is nast equation here applying it is it can be given as e cell electrode potential of the cell is equals to standard electrode potential of cell minus rt upon nf n upon n into kc where kc is equals to equilibrium constant you already know you already studied in class 11 so here in class 12 only we will discuss about the equilibrium constant which is equals to c for c d for d upon a power a into b power b got it so we can say that this is a nast equation where value of kc we put in the nast equation then we you will get electrode potential of the cell equals to minus e cell standard electrode potential minus rt upon nf into kc and uh, you can put here the value of kc equilibrium constant that is c d upon a and n to b now let us come together and join us with second equation what is second equation here i can put the value of what i can put here the value of r and t what is the value of r r and t here temperature 298 kelvin whereas value of r is 8.314 joule per kelvin per mole so what do you can say that electrode potential of the cell is equals to this is equals to minus 0.0591 upon n and also value of f equals to 96500 got it so we can say that e cell electrode potential of the cell equals to minus 0.05591 upon n and uh, f equals to 96500 how you can put these values i will later uh, discuss it later on first of all about the nast equation what is nast equation this is main form of the nast equation i can put here in box this one electrode potential of the cell equals to electro standard electrode potential e cell dot minus 0.0591 upon n log kc and kc value is equals to c d upon a and b at 298 kelvin now what are the applications of nast equation iska kya uses hai nast equation ka ye hum discuss karenge yahan par first how you can calculate equilibrium constant from nast equation so for that 
for a Daniel cell at equilibrium a standard electrode potential of the cell you can calculate easily by using Nast equation uh, so uh, its application in equilibrium uh, calculation of equilibrium constant from Nast equation so E cell equals to how you can calculate it let us see E cell equals to 0 and this is equals to standard electrode potential of the cell minus 2.303 upon 2f log if you can take here two ions like like zinc ion zn2 plus upon copper ion cu2 plus then this their concentration ratio you can calculate by taking logarithm of these two cation okay now what is kc you already know this one equals to kc equals to zn2 plus which is zinc ion upon copper ion cu2 plus right and this is equals to kc so you can say that what e cell standard electrode potential ki value kya ho jayegi this is equals to e cell equals to 2.303 upon 2f log kc got it this is the value of this is the value of a standard electrode potential at equilibrium now uh, if you can put the value of all these things like r t and k and f not k k is equilibrium constant that's why you cannot put value of kc so we can say that here standard electrode potential of the cell equals to 2.303 into 8.314 this is the value of r and t 298 kelvin right upon 2 into 96500 because these values are always same and here zinc 2 and that's why we will the put um, put the value of n equals to 2 right n equals to 2 and f equals to 96500 okay uh, now value of uh, a standard electrode potential in general 0 0.0591 upon 2 log kc this is the value of standard electrode potential in general uh, you can also say that log kc equals to log kc equals to n e cell standard upon 0 0.0591 0 0.0591 you can calculate the value of equilibrium constant as well as standard electrode potential of the cell also now second second application concentration cell if two electrodes of the same metals are dipped separately into two solution of the same electrolyte like zinc you can put zinc mm, uh, electrode in zinc sulfate ion or copper electrodes in copper sulfate ion then the solutions are connected to salt bridge such cells are known as concentration cells agar same electrolyte cell mein hum isko jo hai dip karte hain like copper and zinc electrode in the uh, containing solution containing salt bridge which separate these uh, electrodes and uh, also uh, accumulation of charge not here a compare that's why we use here salt bridge like agar agar gel and uh, potassium chloride so how you can say that this is concentration cell concentration cell first condition same electrolytes should be here and uh, they should be dipped separately into the solution of the same electrolyte having different concentration mind it having different concentration and solutions are connected through salt bridge such cells are known as concentration cell like for example hydrogen this one is 
known as concentration cell which have different different concentration like hydrogen c1 concentration h plus and here h plus c2 concentration like their concentrations are different and and electrodes are same electrodes of same electrolyte these are two types first second second example is cu cu2 plus salt bridge cu2 plus uh, cu right this is the second example of the concentration cell electrode of the concentration cell electrode of the concentration cell like hydrogen first one i will discuss here so e cell equals to 0 minus 0 0.591 0 0.591 upon n log p2 upon p1 for a spontaneous reaction you always mind it p2 less than p1 means second pressure final pressure always less than initial pressure that means uh, pressure is always uh, lower than final pressure always lower than initial pressure now electrolyte concentration cell the electromotive force of concentration cell emf of the cell at 298 kelvin is given by zn zinc and copper so first zinc let us take example of zinc zn 2 plus salt bridge zn 2 plus zn right for this reaction electrode potential value e cell equals to 0.0591 upon n1 log c2 upon c1 log c2 upon c1 this is the value of standard electrode potential where mind it c2 always greater than c1 final concentration always greater than initial concentration um, now cases of electrolysis electrolysis of molten sodium chloride sodium chloride like nacl when it dissociates it gives 2na plus plus 2cl minus this is the example of sodium chloride electrolysis of molten sodium chloride two reactions occurring at two electrodes how you can show these two reactions first one is when it gives it donate electron sodium ion it becomes sodium uh, and cation and it can accept it to electrons and finally it get converted into sodium metal so electrode potential of this reaction at cathode is equals to minus 2.7 2.7 volt okay 2.7 volt and uh, second one for chloride and 2 cl minus it becomes cl2 it can accept two electron so what is the value of a standard electrode potential that is minus 1.361 okay this 1.36 volt so the values of sodium ion and chloride ion what is difference here this sodium cation contains more negative values more negative standard electrode potential value whereas chloride ion low concentration low negative values so overall reaction you can see here overall reaction sodium ion plus chloride ion sodium ion plus chloride ion it will become after electrolysis 2Na plus Cl2 sodium in liquid state chlorine in gaseous state so chlorine in gaseous state this reaction should occur at cathode whereas chlorine found at anode so electrode potential value you can also see here what is these values these values become negative for sodium and chlorine less negative as compared to sodium 
सोडियम क्लोराइड ऑलमोस्ट कम्प्लीटली आयनाइज यू नो द यू नो दिस इज द स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एन एस सी एल एन एस सी एल इट बिकम्स एन ए प्लस एंड सी एल माइनस इन एक्व सोल्यूशन ओके एंड वाटर वाटर इन केस ऑफ लिक्विड देन इट विल बिकम एच प्लस प्लस ओ एच माइनस इन एक्व सोल्यूशन एट कैथोड दिस रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस टू एन ए प्लस प्लस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन गिप्स टू टू एन ए दिस वन इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल माइनस टू पॉइंट सेवन वन बोल्ट एंड फॉर वाटर टू एस टू ओ प्लस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन एक्सेप्टिंग देन इट विल कन्वर्ट एच टू प्लस टू ओ एच माइनस इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल वैल्यू स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट थ्री सी हियर डिफरेंस लार्ज नेगेटिव वैल्यू लेस नेगेटिव वैल्यू इन स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल दस क्लोरीन वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ क्लोरीन दस हाइड्रोजन गैस इज इवॉल्व एट कैथोड वैल्यू सोडियम आयन रिमेन्स इन द सोल्यूशन एट ए नोट दिस रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस टू एच टू ओ गिप्स टू ओ टू प्लस फोर एच प्लस प्लस फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रोपोटेंशियल वैल्यू इज माइनस वन पॉइंट टू थ्री वोल्ट एंड टू सी एल माइनस गिप्स टू सी एल टू प्लस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इज वन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स माइनस माइनस वन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स वोल्ट वन पॉइंट टू थ्री वोल्ट हियर वन माइनस वन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स वोल्ट लार्ज नेगेटिव वैल्यू फॉर क्लोराइड आइन नाउ दिस इज ओवरऑल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ नस्ट इक्वेशन एंड डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रोलिस ऑफ एक्व सोल्यूशन ऑफ डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स नाउ बैटरीज when galvanic cells are connected in series to obtain a higher voltage the arrangement is known as battery galvanic cell ko connect kiya jaye series mein aur hame higher voltage ap, uh, prapt ho to is arrangement ko hum battery kehte hain how many types of battery now you can see that different types of cells previously and here we will discuss about two types of mainly batteries फर्स्ट वन इज प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंड सेकेंडरी प्राइमरी बैटरीज एंड सेकेंडरी बैटरीज प्राइमरी सेल्स आर दो सेल्स विच कैन बी यूज सो लॉन्ग द एक्टिव मटेरियल्स आर प्रजेंट वंस दे गेट कंज्यूम्ड द सेल विल स्टॉप फंक्शनिंग एंड कैन नॉट बी री यूज माइंड इट इट कैन नॉट बी री यूज अगेन वेर आर सेकेंडरी बैटरी यूज again and again recharged and for multiple uses now you can see this is major difference between primary batteries and secondary batteries so primary cells are those which can be used so long kafi lambe samay tak use kiya ja sakta hai aur ye active material ka hota hai present hote hain isme aur isko ye consume karta hai cell aur iska functioning stop ho jata hai aur तो दोबारा हम इसको यूज नहीं कर सकते हैं एग्जाम्पल हम क्या ले सकते हैं प्राइमरी बैटरी का एग्जाम्पल है ड्राई सेल लैकलानसे सेल एंड मर्करी सेल विच इज यूज इन मर्करी सेल ऑलवेज यूज इन वॉच सेल विच इज हैंड वॉच नॉट वॉल वॉच एंड सेकेंडरी बैटरीज लेड स्टोरेज बैटरी विच कैन बी रिचार्ज अगेन यू कैन सी दैट there are different types of batteries now let us discuss here about different types of primary batteries first dry cell anode anode zinc container zinc container here act as a, act as a 
जिंक कंटेनर एक्ट एज कैथोड नो वट यू कैन सी हियर एनोड एंड कार्बन रॉड विच इज मेड अप ऑफ ग्रेफाइट आइसोटोप्स ऑफ कार्बन इट इज सराउंडेड बाय पाउडर मैग्निक ऑक्साइड एम एन ओ टू एंड कार्बन राइट दिस इज एक्ट एज अ कैथोड दिस इज एक्ट एज अ कैथोड एंड इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस विच टाइप ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस वी कैन यूज हियर अमोनियम क्लोराइड एन एच फोर सी एल एंड जिंक क्लोराइड जेड एन सी एल टू राइट दिस टू टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स वी कैन यूज हियर रिएक्शन रिएक्शन जिंक डोनेट टू आयन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड इट विल बिकम जिंक पॉजिटिव आयन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन सो एट कैथोड दिस इज एट एनोड एक्चुअली एनोड रिएक्शन एंड कैथोड रिएक्शन इज मैग्निक डाइऑक्साइड प्लस अमोनियम आयन प्लस इलेक्ट्रॉन इट विल बिकम एम एन ओ ओ एच प्लस एन एच थ्री दिस इज एन ओड रिएक्शन एम एन ओ टू प्लस एन एच फोर प्लस प्लस इट कैन एक्सेप्ट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड इट विल बिकम सो एम एन ओ ओ एच प्लस एन एच थ्री द स्टैंडर्ड पोटेंशियल ऑफ द सेल इज वन पॉइंट फाइव बोल्ट एंड इट फॉल्स एज द सेल गेट्स डिस्चार्ज कंटिन्यूसली एंड वंस यूज इट कैन नॉट बी यूज रिचार्ज इट इट कैन नॉट बी रिचार्ज एंड इट कैन नॉट बी यूज वंस अगेन मर्करी सेल दीज आर यूज इन स्मॉल इक्विपमेंट्स लाइक वॉच हियरिंग एड्स it is made up of mercury is main constituent of the cell and uh, at anode at an anode zinc amalgam is used amalgam amalgam is basically when any metal mixed with mercury then it is known as amalgam so here zinc amalgam zinc zn mixed with mercury this is anode act as a anode and paste of mercuric oxide paste of mercuric oxide and carbon mercuric oxide and carbon this is act as a cathode so electrolyte here we can use paste of potassium hydroxide and zinc oxide paste in ka paste hum use karenge Overall reaction here you can see that zinc at cath anode reaction takes place zn mercury plus hydroxyl ion plus two electron gives to mercury liquid plus two oh minus hydroxyl ion after that cathode reaction hgo plus एच टू ओ प्लस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन गिव्स टू मर्करी लिक्विड प्लस वाटर लिक्विड दिस इज एट कैथोड नाउ ओवरऑल रिएक्शन ओवरऑल रिएक्शन जिंक मर्करी प्लस मर्क्यूरिक ऑक्साइड एच जी ओ गिव्स टू जिंक ऑक्साइड plus mercury this is overall reaction and here cell potential is approximately 1.33 volt and remains constant during life its life okay so now secondary batteries primary battery is over now secondary battery secondary batteries or cells what is difference between cell and battery cell is only one equipment minus plus 
minus and plus this is self and when two or more cells connected through wire then it is known as battery this is difference between cell and batteries okay secondary cells are those which can be recharged again and again for multiple uses for example lead storage battery and nickel cadmium battery इसका यूज किया जा सकता है दोबारा एंड इसको रिचार्ज भी कर सकते हैं तो लेड स्टोरेज बैटरी के बारे में हम डिस्कस करते हैं व्हाट आर द यूजेस ऑफ लेड स्टोरेज बैटरी एंड हाउ इट विल फंक्शन सो लेड स्टोरेज बैटरी हियर एनोड 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 इज लेड पीबी एंड कैथोड इज grid of lead packed with lead oxide lead packed with lead oxide pbo2 and uh, discharging reaction before studying discharging reaction you should know about electrolyte electrolyte are 38% solution of sulfuric acid 38 परसेंट सोल्यूशन ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड दिस इज इलेक्ट्रोलाइट ओके नाउ डिस्चार्जिंग रिएक्शन डिस्चार्जिंग रिएक्शन लेड प्लस सल्फेट आयन एस ओ फोर टू माइनस इन एक्व सोल्यूशन गिव्स टू लेड सल्फेट पी बी एस ओ फोर प्लस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन नाउ Overall reaction of cathode reaction you can see here lead oxide PbO2 plus 4H plus plus SO4 two minus plus two electron it will become lead sulfate solid state plus water in liquid state this is cathode reaction. overall reaction you can see that lead pv plus pvo2 gives to plus 2s to so4 sulfuric acid lead sulfate 2 pvso4 plus 2h2 okay this is overall reaction to recharge the cell it is connected with a cell of higher potential and this cell behaves as a electrolytic cell this cell behaves as an electrolytic electrolytic cell yes all students all guys if you understand these topics clearly then at least you can subscribe and like and share it also because i feel very happy when you understand it very clearly and you like it and share it yes my one question you can write in comment box here what is question listen carefully i ask to you one question here question is that what is difference between electrochemical cell and electrolytic cell i want answer of this question how many students give this answer let us see together so you can increase number of likes many more and uh, also if you will uh, watch this video and you want to get notification about this videos next videos of the electrochemistry then at least you should subscribe it those students not subscribe till date right notification you will get and you can understand easily all these topics and continuous your study like this topic is very important for the future also because it included in 
फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री बहुत सब्जेक्ट क्लास ट्वेल्थ इज ऑल स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव टू रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज परचेज बुक्स ऑफ योर कंसर्न सब्जेक्ट एंड डिपॉजिट फीस ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट टू द स्कूल ऑल्सो दिस इज द माई हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट दैट्स वाई I will uh, discuss here to more to you so i hope everyone deposit the fees and purchase books for continuing the, their study those students or parents not see this masses they can see again and uh, deposit fees at the school campus yes now let us see that when we will recharge the cell it connected with a cell of higher potential and this cell behaves as a electrolytic cell and the reactions are reversed lead and lead oxides are regenerated at the respective electrodes these cell deliver an almost consistent voltage recharge reaction you can see that lead sulfate plus water it will give lead oxide plus sulfuric acid now fuel cells i think this is last cell a fuel cell differs from the ordinary batteries in the sense that the reactants are not contained inside the cell but are extremely supplied from an external reservoir fuel cell is used where it is used application of fuel cells now let us see iska use kya hai fuel cells ka extremely supplied from an external reservoir fuel cell is used in space vehicles most important line this one is fuel cells used in space vehicle space vehicles and in this cell the two gases are supplied from external storage in this cell carbon rods are used as electrodes with potassium hydroxide as the electrolyte yes okay so isn't it now cathode reaction is o2 plus h2 o2 plus h2 gives to hydroxyl ion after consuming four electron then anode reaction is anode reaction is h2 plus 4oh minus gives to 4h2o plus four electron overall reaction is hydrogen plus oxygen gives to water liquid this is the main reaction and this is used in fuel cells in space vehicles corrosion i will discuss later on so i hope you will understand it very clearly if any doubt you can ask me frequently at my whatsapp number or if you need pdf file of this chapter you can contact me as early those students not get this chapter notes please inform me and they will get as soon as possible okay my humble request once again you will like subscribe and share it thank you so much all the best and uh, let us see for next video